Alright everybody, welcome to your 11th Node.js tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be covering about how to write two files with Node.js file system API. So in the last tutorial we took a look at how to do that by reading the files and in this tutorial let's just see how to do that by writing the files. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the same code because we require this module and uh, now instead of this what I'm gonna write is write file now this file need not to be there even if it is there then it would be overwritten so if I just change it to like file 2 and uh, I pass in whatever I te the text I want to write um, let's just say hello there what's up and then with the encoding of your stringo which is the string right here so it is UTF-8 and then finally a callback function now this function is asynchronous the write file one so it would obviously require you a callback otherwise this code would be executed you know simultaneously with this code so it won't wait for this line won't wait for this code to execute completely which we already looked in the last tutorial so I'm just gonna say the first argument would be an error and uh, if there's an error then just simply throw the error that's it and uh, let's just take a look in the terminal all right I guess we need to navigate first to documents node.js node script 10 dot js all right Oh, this was script 11. Okay, so we got both of these lines. And uh, if I just console log here as well, file written. So that will make kind of sense. So as you can see, this code runs after this code because this is an asynchronous function. And if I look in the files folder, you can see that there's a file 2 created here and if I just change this to file 3 and run the same thing again in node you can see the file 3 was created here now similarly I can do this synchronously which I did in the file reading and if I just write write file synchronous and still it would just accept this one which is the file name and uh, the second one would be similarly this text which needs to be there and then finally this encoding but you don't need this um, callback function now because this is a synchronous function so you're hundred percent sure that this code would run first and then this one so yeah so we'll just say console log file written and in the terminal as you can see all of the lines execute in an order and if I change this to file sync and do that again you can see that this new file is created with the text we have supplied in here and that's how basically we create basically we do reading and writing in node.js and we'll need these concepts of Node.js while we are creating our own application or our own server which is a functional server so so you need to just keep in memory or keep in mind you have to just keep in mind that how all of this is working and you know the syntax the first one is the file name then the string you want to write on and then the encoding and you'll be good to go so that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you next time